In the Amazon basin, in the lowland forests of Bolivia, archaeologists have discovered new evidence of an ancient civilization. Nobody expected that kind of, of society in that region. Using LiDAR technology, researchers peeled back the dense vegetation to reveal huge structures hidden beneath the trees. Pyramids 20 meters high. The whole region has been so densely habitated during the pre hispanic time. That's incredible to believe. Now, in an area once thought to be of little interest to archaeologists, hundreds of new sites have been uncovered. There is new civilization, new culture waiting for us to study them. It's uh, sort of a dream coming true. Archaeologist Heiko Prumas has spent most of his career working in Amazonia. Most of people said, what are you doing there? <laughs> when I went to the Amazon area, because it's supposed that in the Amazon region there was almost nothing but small tribes. But for Heiko, the Amazon held bigger secrets. In 1999, he started to investigate large mounds in the lowlands of Bolivia. If you go to the southeast of the Llanos de Mojos, which is a savanna region in the lowlands of Bolivia, people will tell you of the lomas. Those, those lomas are mounds that exist over there and that are normally covered by vegetation. When Heiko and his colleagues started excavating some of these mounds, archaeologists had theorised that they were rubbish heaps, the result of waste accumulated over centuries. But hidden beneath the earth, the teams found evidence of rectangular platforms, graves and artefacts, signs of a society with a social hierarchy. We found something like 120 graves in, in that site, and some did have offerings and they were at special locations. So all those data combined showed that the society itself was much more complex than anybody had supposed before. So in 2019, a team set out by helicopter to try and uncover the true scale of this ancient civilization with the help of LiDAR technology. You use a laser adapted to um, the helicopter or a small aircraft, and then you fly over an area, and by the reflections of the laser, you get the distance from the objects. And the fascinating thing is that um, you can eliminate virtually, digitally, the vegetation afterwards. The LiDAR revealed more than anyone had expected. Beneath the thick canopy were structures, rectangular platforms, conical pyramids, defensive banks, canals, reservoirs, and long straight causeways connecting hundreds more settlements, large and small. If you are overflying those sites, you won't see anything but trees, vegetation. And uh, when you see afterwards all LIDA images, well, you know <laughs> you have been flying over sites, archaeological sites. You see everything. The discovery is part of a huge change in what archaeologists think about the history of the Amazon. If we talk about Amazonia, we generally talking about people without agriculture. And to recognize as a first step that they were sedentary and that they are agriculturalists, that is a big step. Even just from the air. The newly found settlements give hints of a complex and unexpected way of living. In near to every site, in one hour of walking, you will find at least one other site. Nobody expected that kind of, of society in that region. That's a new thing, yeah, to find a densely populated area with settlements much larger than before. So what does this tell us about the Kasarabe culture? the name given to the people who constructed these new settlements and the two mounds that Heiko and colleagues already excavated. When I'm giving conferences in Bolivia and people ask over there, and, and who were those people that constructed those mounds? And I say, well, we just commence our studies over here. We, we don't know. If, if I were working in Switzerland or in Germany and after excavating at two sites, I would <laughs> dare to say it's like that, it's like that. So I would... <laughs> get me off the country. <laughs> so we need to to be patient and uh, and wait for further excavations in those sites to to be able to explain something of what we are seeing right now. 
the big thing is that we can say there is new civilization, new culture waiting for us to be to study them. With so much to excavate, most of the work on these newly discovered structures will be done by the next generation of archaeologists. But Heiko is not unhappy with his own contribution. Well, for me, who has worked over this last 20, 25 years in that region, it's uh, sort of a dream coming true to say at the end of my career that, well, we have a new culture. And uh, it's, that's nice. Yeah, I admit that. <laughs>